years two and a half years since we've done this so we got we got to do it a little bit differently i don't know I'm trying to come up with a really cheesy intro <laughs> greetings salutations and your it's been two and a half years since i've done one of these things called a vlog a vlog and i've come to realize that vlogging is hard what do i mean by that vlogging is hard at least for me it, it makes me uncomfortable because I'm presenting myself, um, my work, photography and videography in front of an audience here on YouTube. It's uncomfortable, but one of the things that I've kind of talked myself into of doing this year and have been talked into by others is just that I need to dust off this YouTube channel. I need to start putting out more videos, whether it's behind the scenes stuff, vlogs, whatever. Like this channel needs to be utilized a bit more. It's still gonna be tough, it's still gonna be hard, but one of the things I'm hoping for is that if I consistently do this and I do this right, that at some point vlogging doesn't become hard or It'll, it'll still be hard, but at least I can manage a little bit better. One of the other reasons I think that vlogging is hard is because it challenges my creativity and anything that challenges you to to do better, to be better, um, is gonna is gonna be met with some pushback. Know that you need to do something well, you need to do something good, but because there's work behind that, that means that you gotta dedicate some time, energy, resources, and being able to do the thing or the task that you wanna complete. So in this case, this requires more creativity for me. I can cook in Photoshop, but I can't cook in Premiere Pro. I mean, I could get by a little bit, but it ain't the same. <laughs> it definitely ain't the same. So this is pushing my creativity a bit. So anything that's pushed that pushes my creativity and pushes me past a certain point is definitely going to be difficult and a little bit harder. At the end of the day, I just want to be able to push my creativity, do more vlogs like this, let you see kind of what goes on behind the scenes when I create new photo work this year, shooting weddings, shooting events, etc. stuff like that. So, I mean, it's a it's a journey. We'll see how many of these we can crank out before the year is over. Hopefully, we don't have to wait another two and a half years for the next vlog to come out. Yeah, two and a half years. <laughs> That's wild. So just en enjoy the journey and let's see where this thing takes us. Ah yes, smoothies, the breakfast of champions. So I had to run downstairs to get some smoothies for the missus and I to be able to complete our day. Upon completing such sustenance, I would then take our dog Onyx up on the dog run. Oh yeah, I guess we kind of do have to explain how we got Onyx, right? Long story short. About three months after the last blog post, we brought home a Pomsky. Half Pomeranian, half Husky. Pomskis are typically not the best starter dog, but we couldn't say no to that face. Almost three years and countless treats later, Onyx has become a very important part of the Reed family. And with that, we could put a pin on this blog. Hopefully there'll be many more adventures to come. Till the next one.